definition. Sign on a tire store. Solution, we skid you not. And our solution to fun would have put on television is definition. And I kid you not, here's the host of our show, Jim Perry. I think it's going to be one of those days. I kind of like that one. Hello there. Welcome to Definition. I hope you're ready to play along. As we uh, finished up yesterday, we had the champions win their third match. Didn't have time for the bonus. We'll do that right now as David introduces them. That's our brother partnership of Tony and Peter Shuchenko. Hello there. Tony next to me. Peter on the outside. For any new viewers who have not yet fallen in love with the Shuchenko brothers, but <laughs> if they've been here with us for a couple of days, I'm sure they have. You guys are doing very well. Though I must say, we were talking, Peter, you were a little apprehensive of uh, the end of the last show, right? Yes, uh, we got the first and last word, but the middle word we just could yeah, not we finally get. got a handle on it and got a sort of was digs that beat I remember that's mm -hmm. what that one was well we're right now you've got yourself three wins hundred and fifty dollars in cash and three nice prizes we're gonna pick up with a bonus and an opportunity for more cash David if you will dieting Oh, $210 is riding on this one and the definition very simply is dieting do you know it for $210? And here come the letters, and they come alphabetically, and here's your first letter for $200. And of course, you can give as many answers as you'd like. 190, dieting. And it's a very well-known phrase. 170. 160, dieting. 150. No, no. no, but that's the way to do it. Think out loud. Well, if you hit it, I'll help you. 140. Hazardous waste. Uh-huh. Oh. What's uh, the phrase? Dieting? Uh, Come on, letters. Something hazardous waste. Yeah. Oh. You're right. Dumping hazardous That's what waste. it is for $110. Yes, dumping hazardous waste. You're dieting. You are dumping hazardous waste, W-A-I-S-T. And yeah, if you are very, very overweight, that is rather hazardous to your health there. So you're dumping hazardous waste. And a good uh, bonus for the champions. They're up to the $260 mark in cash with three wins. They'll try for four, win number four. New challenges will come out to greet them right after this. We will meet our new challengers after we take a brief look at the runner-up prizes. Caravel watches by Bulova. Nobody tells the time in as many beautiful ways as Caravel by Bulova. Quartz thin, quartz accurate. Guaranteed for two full years. Now at your jeweler. Or a food processor. Compliments of totes. Salty slush can wreck good leather shoes. Wear light, comfortable, easy to put on totes and protect them. Totes, keep your shoes nice and dry. Now then, new challengers have joined us, and David, if you will. From Hamilton, Ontario, Jim, a mother and daughter duo, let's meet Annie and Millie Daly. Hello there, Mother Annie here, and Hi. daughter Millie. Let us get acquainted before we get into the match. Millie is a branch manager of the Hamilton Auto Club. Yes. And you like traveling, needlepoints, ceramics, and murder mysteries. Of course. Yeah, I like that. Who's your favorite uh, author? Well, Agatha Christie has to be, and Nero Wolf. Yeah. I like P.D. James, another lady author mm -hmm. I like a lot. Yeah. Nice to have you here. Thank you. And Annie, you're a homemaker, bingo, reading, travel. You won at bingo, and, I mean, you, you must have won a lot. What happened? The place closed up. They closed? <laughs> and they said, Annie wins, anybody can win, and they quit? What is it? How much did you win? A thousand dollars. thousand dollars? And that broke them, huh? It must be, no, they moved to another building. Oh, they tried to get away from old Lucky Annie here. Have you been lucky since? <laughs> I went off and I. Oh, it sounds like you go pretty often there. Oh, once or twice a week. Oh, that's pretty often. Nice to have you here. I hope you'll, uh, you've been watching us occasionally, oh, I think. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> all right, good. Well, then you know how to do it, so let's get into it. Best three out of five definitions will win it, and we'll start with this. Weight of a Chinese delivery truck. Weight of a Chinese delivery truck. And we'll start with the challengers. Millie, give a letter away that you do not want. X. There is no X, and Annie, you can take a letter that you do want. A? There's one A, one A that goes here. Well, you've put a letter up there, so either of you can give me a guess if you'd like. Do you know weight of a Chinese delivery truck? There's a signal, time is up. Over to the champions and Peter to give a letter away. Z. No Z, and Tony to take a letter. I'll take an O. 
There are two O's, one in the middle of this word, second in the middle of this word, got half the letters. Uh, do you know weight of a Chinese delivery truck? A wonton. A wonton, yes indeed, that's what it is. Or a wonton if you were taking with the, with the weight, but it's spelled the same and would be pronounced the same, a wonton, yes. Wonton truck, wonton. Don't want to hear any more about that, do you? I'm going to say, Bill, I thought maybe I shouldn't. Oh, no, well, you know, guess. they're, they're trying guess. for their fourth. Well, you, I always say you've got that one guess, and often uh, you better take it. You may not get another chance there. Yeah, you, you, sometimes you're better off just blurting it out. Yes. I think that's part of the difficulty with the guess. When, when should I hold back and when should I let it out? I would say against these two very good players, you better let it out there, Annie, and go for it, because you're going to have a hard time against them. They are very good. Come on, you can do it now. We're going to start with you again with this definition. Falling asleep during a political speech. I like this one. This is good. <laughs> falling, and it's true. Falling asleep during a political speech. Annie, give a letter away. I give away an X. There's no X. Millie, to take a letter. E. There is no E. No letter on the board, no guess, and we're over to Tony to give a letter away. I'll give away the Z. Uh-oh. There's a Z in that solution. One Z going here. Millie and Annie, now they've given you a free guess that you could try. Do you know falling asleep during a political speech? No. It's still your turn. That was their turn. Annie, give one away. I'll give away a Q. No Q. Millie, to take a letter. T. T is in Thomas. No T. No guess. Couldn't take advantage of it. Back to Tony. Got away with a great letter there, Tony. Give one away. I'll give away the V. Uh, no V is in Victor this time, so Peter can take a letter. I. There is one I, one I that goes right here. Do you know falling asleep during a political speech? Back over to the challengers and Annie to give one away. I'll give away a Y. There's no Y. Millie, take a letter. A. No A. Got to put a letter up there to take a guess. Have a little problem over there. Back to the champions of Tony. Give one away. I'll give away the J. No J. Take one, Peter. E. There is no E. Both? Oh, the E is already gone? Well, that's a break oh. for you. You get to take another letter. O. Oh. And there is an O. There is one O that goes right here. Do you know falling asleep during a political speech? And still couldn't take advantage of it. Back to you, Annie, to give one away. Give away a K. There is no K. Millie, take a letter. N. N is a Nancy. This time you got one. There is an N as a Nancy going right here. And now you've got a guess, if you'd like, to tie up the match. Falling asleep during a political speech. And we're back over to Tony to give a letter away. OK, I'll give away the W. No W. Peter, take a letter. L. L is in Larry. Two L's, one L here. Here's the second. Do you know falling asleep during a political speech? Bulldozing. That's exactly what it is, yes. <laughs> I told you it was true. <laughs> falling asleep during a political speech, bulldozing. <laughs> champions lead two to nothing. Challengers need three in a row, and the champs could get their fourth win with this definition. What a haircut is. What a haircut is and your trailing will start with you millie give a letter away this time x there an x did you say yes oh, oh, there's an x yeah there's an x tony and peter right away have a free guess what a haircut is still your turn peter give one away z no z take one tony i'll take an s s is in sam one s one s going here and again you can win with this if you know what a haircut is Back over to Millie. Got away with a great letter. Give one away, Millie. Give away a Q. This time a good choice. And Annie, you can take a letter. I'll take an R. R is in Robert. One R. One R going here. Do you know what a haircut is? A shearing. Nope, no. nope. Don't say anymore. It's not right. Over to Peter. Give one away. J. No J. Take one, Tony. I'll take the E. There are. Five E's. Here come a lot of spaces filled in with three of them in the last word. Very importantly, right there. Here's the fourth and here's the fifth for your fourth win. Do you know what a haircut is? Time. Oh, I thought they had it with those E's. Back to you, Millie. Give one away. Give away uh, D is in David. 
No, oh, there's a D as in David in that solution. One D that goes here. Tony and Peter again have a free guess for the win. What a haircut is. Still your turn, Peter. Give one away. K. There is no K. Take one, Tony. Uh, I'll take the T. T as in Thomas. No T. Wow, Millie, we're back to you. Give one away. Um, give away a Y. No Y. Annie, this time you can take a letter. An A. An A. Did you say? There are two A's. Here's one at the beginning of this two-letter word. Another A goes here for your first definition. Do you know what a haircut is? Anyone? Don't say anything now. Back to Peter. Give a letter away. B. No B as in boy. Tony, take a letter. I'll take a V. V as in Victor, an unusual choice, and there is a V. It goes here. You've got your fourth win, if you know what a haircut is. An overhead expense. That's what it is. A haircut is an overhead expense. That's the well-known phrase. And Millie, I heard you had overhead, right? Yes, yes. And with yes. the X, I thought you'd get that with no. the expense. You had that big letter X up there. Yes. Well, Tony and Peter, they didn't mind at all. They got their fourth win and this prize. From the Royal Dalton Street Vendors Collection, the old balloon seller. This colorful figurine was inspired by the street vendors of the days of old in London. And again, our congratulations. Gets, gets a little tougher as you start getting that third win, that fourth win. <laughs> the bonus for cash coming up in a moment. Congratulations, guys. Got to say goodbye to Millie and Annie. Well, they're, they're a tough team. Don't feel too yeah. bad. I do hope you'll they come back. Very good. I hope you come back and join yeah. us again. Yes, in the meantime, we have some nice parting gifts as a way of thanking you for joining us. Thank you, okay, thank thank you, you. Annie. Thank you, Millie. Annie and Millie Daly. <laughs> bonus now. Let's see you get a goodie here. And here's the bonus definition. What? Marcel Marceau has done. What Marcel Marceau has done. Are you familiar with the gentleman Marcel Marceau? Okay. Mm -hmm. What Marcel Marceau has done, do you possibly know this for $180? Something with mine. Um... And here come the letters alphabetically. For $170, here comes your first letter. So there are no A, Bs, or Cs in that solution. What Marcel Marceau has done. $150. Something of mine? No. Something. Yeah, Marcel Marceau, what he's done. The test of mine. Uh-huh. The... Uh, stood, the, stood the test of mine. That's right, for $120. Yeah, he's been around a long time. And he, of course, is a mime. So Marcel Marceau, through the years, had stood the test of mime instead of the test of time. Up to $380 in cash with four fine wins, fine prizes. And the Shuchenko brothers are going to try to become five-time champions. The team's going to try to stop them or coming out right now. And as they come out, my buddy Dave Duvall will introduce them. Well, Jim, let's say hello to a daughter and mother team as we meet Deborah Alfano and June Barker. Hello there, Mother June coming out here and daughter Deborah on the outside. All right. Oh, Deborah, you're, you're squeezing in that way, huh? Yes, okay. I guess so. <laughs> Now, it's always tough getting around because we have these boards so you don't go falling over. Let's get, you, let's get acquainted with you. June, a retired bookkeeper. You had a police escort at O'Hare Airport mm -hmm. in Chicago. I'm impressed. You, you, you and the queen were out for the day or something? What happened? No, not exactly. I flew into O'Hare and I was supposed to uh, change planes and I ended up with a half an hour instead of two and a half hours. I had no idea where gate seven was. So I went up to a man that I thought was a security guard and asked for directions, and he said it was one mile away and two buildings over, and I wasn't going to make it, and would I come with him, which I did, and he put me in a police cruiser and drove me over. Oh, who was he? <laughs> Policeman. Oh, oh, that was very nice. That's, that's very nice. The people of Chicago made you feel comfortable they there. They certainly did. Deborah, part-time secretary, computers you like, swimming, exploring Ontario towns. That's, and, and you're in the process of starting your own computer company, huh? Yes. Oh, good just luck. word processing. And, and you like, what's this about exploring Ontario towns? Well, I like to just get in the car and drive along a highway, whether it's up 89 See some or some of the nice, pretty little towns? Yeah. If you take some of the uh, side roads, you come into an awful lot of nice communities with, filled with a lot of nice people. Oh, you do indeed. And indeed, they are filled with nice people. Good to have you here. Wanted to get you out here and get you comfortable. We'll get into the match right after we take time out for this commercial break. Come on along and join the fun as part of our studio audience or take home some nice prizes as a contestant. All you have to do is write definition, CFTO-TV Box 9, Station O, Toronto, Ontario. 
M4A to M9, Jim. Ah, thank you, David. Well, uh, Peter was just very nicely saying that Deborah and June, good luck. I suspect he doesn't mean good enough luck to win, <laughs> but just to play well, I think would be it. Because the uh, brothers Tony and Peter are trying for their fifth win to become retired champions, and Deborah and June trying to stop them. Let's get into it. Sarcasm. Very simply, sarcasm. And this was sent in by a viewer, and it's a very inventive definition. Rita Sunier of uh, Medigham, Nova Scotia. And Rita, you sent in a very good one. Sarcasm. We always give the challengers the advantage of going first. June, give a letter away. I'll give away the X. There's no X. And Deborah, you can take a letter. Remember, you're trying to take what you think you can use. Take an E, please. You're off to a good start. There is an E, one E that goes right here. And you get the first opportunity at sarcasm. Over to the champions, Tony to give his first letter away. I'll give away the Q. No Q, Peter to take one. T. T is in Thomas, very good choice with two of them. Going together, do you know sarcasm? And we're back over to June to give one. I'll give away the Z. No Z, Deborah to take one. Take the R, please. R is in Robert, again a good choice. There is an R, all squeezing in together there. Sarcasm. Back to Tony, give one away. I'll give away the J. No J, take one, Peter. S. S is in Sam, no S. No letter on the board, no guess. We are back to the challengers. June, give one away. Oh, I'll give away a Y. There is no Y. Deborah, take a letter. Could I take an N, please? N is in Nancy, you could indeed. As a matter of fact, you can take two of them. Here's one. Here's the second, sarcasm. Back up to Tony, give one away. I'll give away the V. No V is in Victor, Peter, take one. F. F is in Frank, one F, and it goes here. Mm -hmm. Got letters in all three words, now do you have sarcasm? Back up to you, June, give one. I'll give away a K. No K. Take a letter, Deborah. I'll take an O, please. An O. Three O's. Here's one completing this word, but look at the other two at the beginning of this and this. Do you know sarcasm? Oh, it looked like she was going to say something. Tony, give a letter away. I'll give away the W. No W. Take a letter, Peter. P. P is in Peter, one P, one P that goes here for the first definition in the match, sarcasm. Matter of opinion? That's incorrect. Over to June, give a letter away. Oh, you're surprised, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'll give away a U. There, uh oh, oh, what a letter to give away. Uh -huh. Here goes a U, Tony and Peter, you got a free oh. guess at sarcasm. Mutter of opinion. That's what it is, mutter of opinion. Yeah, you mutter it under your breath. That's why they said sarcasm. Yeah, we were switching on the phrase matter of opinion. But with sarcasm, sometimes you just kind of mutter it under your breath. Sure. Arr, 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 arr. Well, champions, oh, that letter U jumped up and hit you. Deadly. That, that was a <laughs> deadly letter. Peter and Tony did not mind at all. They lead one to nothing as the pressure is building looking for that fifth win. Here's the next definition. Why a certain czar of Russia was broke. We, we, we use the word certain, remember, to refer to someone specific. Yes, a, why a certain specific czar of Russia was broke. Give a letter away this time, Deborah. Ooh, I'll give away the X. No X, and June, this time you are taking letters. E. There are three E's, one E in the first word, and two of them in the last word, here and here. Do you know to tie up the match why a certain specific czar of Russia was broke? And we're over to Peter to give a letter away this time. Z. No Z, Tony to take letters. I'll take an R, please. R is in Robert, no R. That takes care of that idea. Back to you, Deborah, give one away. I give away the U. There is no U, June, take a letter. I'll take an H, please. H is in Harry, there is one H, and it completes this word. Got one of the three words. Do you have why a certain czar of Russia was broke? Back, we go to the champions of Peter to give one. J. No J, brother Tony to take one. I'll take an N. N is a Nancy, one N, very importantly at the beginning of this word. For your second definition, why a certain czar of Russia was broke? 
Back over to Deborah. Give one away. Uh, I can give away the cue. There is no cue. Take one, June. I'll take an I. There is one I. One I that goes here. Got a tie match if you know why a certain czar of Russia was broke. Oh, I thought Deborah was going to give me an answer there. Tony, back to you. And it is, excuse me, it's Peter giving letters away. V. No V is in Victor. Tony, to take a letter. I'll take an L. L is in Larry. There are two L's. Here's one, here's the second. Do you know why a certain czar of Russia was broke? He was nickel-less. That's exactly right. He was nickel-less. Didn't have any nickels. I know you were thinking all of the different czars, but of course, N-I-C-H-O-L-S didn't fit in there, or E-S didn't fit in there, but the nickels as in the coin. He was broke, he had no nickels. Tony and Peter have their second definition. One more definition, they're five-time champions. Deborah and June, you need three in a row. Here's the next one. Inside storage for oatmeal. Inside, uh, inside storage area, yes? Inside area. storage area for oatmeal. Inside storage area for oatmeal. You're trailing, June, you need this, give one away. I'll give away the Z. There is no Z. Deborah, to take a letter. The T. T is in Thomas, one T that goes at the beginning of this three-letter word. Do you know inside storage area for oatmeal? Over to Tony, give a letter away. I'll give away the X. No X, take a letter, Peter. R. R is in Robert, one R, one R that goes here. You can win with this inside storage area for oatmeal. Back to the challengers in June to give one away. I'll give away a Q. No Q, take one, Deborah. No, please. O, did you say? Yes, O. Two O's, they go together, it might help. Here's one, here's the second. Inside storage area for oatmeal. The green room? No, nope. worth a try. Tony, give one away. And there's the signal time is up. Hmm. We, we complete the turn. Give the last letter away. I'll give the V. No V is in Victor. Take the last letter, Peter. M. M is in Mary. Two M's. One M goes here. Here is the second. You've got win number five with time running out if you know inside storage area for oatmeal. The meal room. Incorrect. Oh, <laughs> you think about oatmeal? That's the mushroom. That's oh. what that is. No one scored on that. We will be right back. Well, that is all the time we have for today. I hope you'll be back with us tomorrow because tomorrow, Tony and Peter, should they get one more definition, will become five-time champions. Bye for now. Prizes on definition include a selection of products from Remington, featuring the microscreen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers, the cordless travel shaver, and the Travel Plus hair dryer, or the bulky knit KH230 knitting machine. Now you can create fabulous sweater fashions using mohair and fancy glitter yarns with the simple-to-operate knitting machine from Brother. Promotional consideration provided by Attends loss of bladder control need no longer be such a problem. Disposable Attends specially designed to help keep you dry, comfortable, and confident. And the Canon Sure Shot Supreme with advanced features such as auto flash, extended range autofocus, and many more. And Remington with the Remington microscreen and Lady Remington his and hers cordless rechargeable shavers. Shave as close as a blade or you get your money back.